out of form 3 chapter 8 video number 5 okay so after we talk about the radioactivity and we also finish the unit of radioactivity we calculate the half-life still remember and now I jump jump kill okay I go to chapter 7 uh, I go to page number 7 okay before I teach about the page number 5 for, for I don't know I finish this part first so it can be easier to understand so now page number seven woman okay so where are you page number seven teach here okay so my notes and your notes temporarily different nothing to worry that's all okay so now page number seven page number seven the structure of the atoms so where the radioactive substance come from they come from the atom that is not stable in the nucleus today so before we continue further we have to talk about atom again the structure of the atom and also the subatomic particle atom the jiego okay and also the subatomic particle so much as subatomic particle atom remain the tongsi okay so last time in form 1 our atom actually is very small tiny and discrete particle it is actually a man still remember atom but in form 2 still remember when we talk about electro electricity actually i teach you a bit about atom in more detail okay so in form 2 last time our atom will be look like this 那时候我们教定的时候, atom okay so today we continue further so this part you just have a look 看一下就可以了, okay okay if you understand this part you can fill in the blank in the notes easily after the station in the note 就可以轻松的填满了, okay 来了 so for one of the atom, it should be look like this. If you say this is an atom, atom should be look like this, don't they? Okay. And inside the atom, it contains three subatomic particles. Atom remain your sun zone, the jilap jilap. Electron, neutron, and protons. Okay. So what is the difference between electron, neutron, and proton? We actually repeat from two like that. Huh? So neutron is a subatomic particle that is neutral. Taputaitin. Okay, proton actually is a subatomic particle that just positive. Neutron and proton they join together. Neutron and proton they become the nucleus of the atom. So just now when we talk about nucleus, 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 not stable, not stable, 其实就是这里东西不stable. Okay, okay. Neutron, proton they making the nucleus, but surrounding the nucleus actually we having another subatomic particle that just negative, and this is what we call electron. So electron actually having its own orbit, and electron always surrounding the nucleus by using the orbit, right? nucleus. So this is a basic atomic structure. Atom the jiego, okay? So electron can move, electron nan dong, ta zai ta okay? So this is form two last time, but some of you maybe not having the basic la, you need jing nan gang gang kan dao wa ba liao, okay? So now, page number seven, we fill in the blank, wo men tian tian yi xia. The structure of the atom, atom the jiego, okay? So for the atoms, for the atom, we're having a nucleus, okay? Uh, this is the center part of the atom, na, nucleus. 中间这个部分,我们就称它为nucleus. So it's the center of the atoms, surrounded by electrons. 它旁边有electrons. And now I magnify the nucleus. 我把这里nucleus放大大. Okay? So what we have inside the nucleus, nucleus 里面有什么东西呢? The e it contains a just particle that's positive that we call proton. and the positive just it is positively just. Okay? So proton, okay? So located in the nucleus, it is in nucleus and positively just oh, beside the proton, what we have inside the nucleus? Neutron that is neutral. Okay, neutron, that's neutral. So located in the nucleus, it is in the nucleus, but it's neutral, it doesn't have So proton and neutron, they join together, become the nucleus, it becomes the nucleus. 
and proton and neutron join together actually you can call them an s1 proton and neutron you got jihe chi lai chan chi lai jia chi lai you can chun ta wei nucleon jiu jiao nucleon so what is mean by nucleon nucleon mean proton plus neutron 全部的 proton 加全部的 neutron they become nucleon so one day you look at the nucleon number nucleon number 也就是 proton 加 neutron 形成的那个 number 多少粒加多少粒 ok so 这个就是 nucleus as you know the nucleus actually surrounded by electrons ok nucleus 旁边有轨道 轨道上面就是 electron so electron is just negative 它带电 so located outside the nucleus and it is negatively charged 它带电 它的电是减的 and electron having its own orbit 它有它自己的轨道 and always surrounding the nucleus by using its orbit ok so this is the orbit 这就是它的轨道 OK So these are the basic structure for the atom Atom的基本结构就是这样子罢了 OK So you maybe learn it last time from 2 But from 2 maybe you learn nothing 也可能对不对 But never mind 既然我们的syllabus还有我们就再重复了 没有我也不会特意搬出来 已经我也不是给播 OK so now turn back to your notes page number six. We're going to look at more detailed things. So now we're going to compare the subatomic particle inside the atom. We're going to compare the atom in the atom with three subatomic particles. So the symbol must be a B. The proton symbol must be a B. The electron E. The neutron and small n. Sorry. And the relative mass, what's mean by relative mass? Relative mean 比较, 自己写, 比较, relative mass 比较的质量, yeah, 不是亲戚朋友, 是比较的质量, but why we call it as a relative mass, or why not, why not we just call it as mass? 为什么不叫质量, 而叫做relative mass, 比较的质量? So next time, when you want to talk about the mass of the subatomic particle, 你要讲到这三种subatomic particle的质量的时候, 你都必须加这个字, relative mass, 比较的质量. But why must be relative mass? 为什么一定要讲它, 叫它relative mass呢, 比较的质量? OK, you not understand? OK, I give you the idea. Proton, neutron, electron, they are too small, 他们太小, and we're not having any equipment to wake it. 我们根本没有什么工具啊,去测量它的质量. So when we talk about the mass of the subatomic particle, we're using the idea called compact. 我们比较质量罢了的, 明白吗? OK, so 什么叫 compact, 什么叫比较呢? I give you the idea. So proton, the relative mass, actually is equal to 1. Proton的质量等于 1. 一什么? No unit 没有单位,它的质量就等于一百两。If proton compared to neutron, 如果 proton 跟 neutron 做比较, the neutron also having the relative mass, one. Neutron 它的质量呢, 也是等于一。OK? So, when you talk about, when you want to imagine the mass of the proton and neutrons, so the relative atomic mass of the proton equal to one. And the relative atomic mass of the neutron also equal to one. Proton 的质量等于一，一什么没有单位，就叫它一。Neutron 的质量也等于一，所以一等于一啦。So they are equal. 它们的质量其实是一模一样。But electron will be different. OK， 因为没有单位可以测量，太小了，也没有工具可以测量，我们只做比较。But electron, if you compare the mass of the electron with the proton and neutrons, the relative mass, 它比较出来的质量 will be 1,840. 它的质量如果跟proton跟neutron做比较, 它只是proton跟neutron的1840分之一罢了. So the mass is very small, 它的质量非常非常的小. So, 一定要写这个字, relative, 比较, 因为我们是比出来的, 那, 你拿来比啦. So, if you compare proton and electrons, OK, the mass of proton and electrons, you need 1840 of electrons to be equal as one proton. 如果这边放一粒 proton, 这边就需要放1840粒的 electrons to be equal as one proton. So, the mass of one electron, 
。伊利 electron 的质量就是 proton 的 1,840 分之一罢了。你需要 1,840 粒的 electron to be equal as one proton 才能等于它一粒 proton。所以这是比较，不能做什么，只能用来做比较。So next time 写答案的时候加这个字 ，relative mass 比较的质量。Proton, the charge is positive, positive one. Electron, negative one. Neutron, neutral, no charge, no charge. So the nilling, okay. So this is a subatomic particle, atom 里面的东西 Okay, settle for this video. The basics for the subatomic particle in the atom and also the structure of the atom. Bye bye. Okay, so our next video, we may be going to talk about ion. 我们的下一个 video 呢，我们的代的不是在原子了，我们在进一步讲更其他的东西，更好了的 ion 离子了，不是原子了，是离子了。So formation ion in the next video, 下一个 video 不再是原子，我们更进一步离子。为什么教这种东西呢？我要用到。Okay, 我要用到。Bye bye.